Hello again and welcome back to our course on Access 2019. In this module we're going to start talking about importing data from Excel. And really what I want to do is just introduce to you some basic ways of importing data into a database. Now before we start, so far when we talk about a database we mean a single file. And within that file there are many different things. For example, there could be a number of different tables. And we've already seen how to create some tables and you could have a lot of different tables within your database. Now it's not always the case that these tables will hold the data. It might be that you need to import data from a different source so the data might be essentially external. So we mentioned earlier on that when it comes to people booking vacations they probably book and then pay using their local currency. So it might be that there is a table somewhere where we look up the currency conversion rates. Now that might not be a table that we maintain in our own database. It could be on an external website or in an external service or in a different access database somewhere else. And we really just want to import that data in. Now when we do access data from another source, the term within access is called linking. And you can link together tables in other databases. Now we're not going to be covering linking too much in this course, but we are going to take a look at importing data and we're going to import data from two different sources, which would be the most common sources, importing from an Excel spreadsheet and also importing data from a text file. So how do we do that? Well, let's go up to our external data ribbon and you'll see here the first group we have is import and link. I'm going to click the new data source and I can choose to import from numerous different sources. So if I hover over from file, you can see I can import from an Excel file, an HTML document, XML file, text file. I can import from another Access database if I wanted to, or from an SQL server, Azure database, DBase file, or I could choose to import from different online services. So maybe you have a SharePoint list or maybe some other kind of data service. And then we have from other sources, which will allow you to import from something like an ODBC database, which is basically a database that's compatible with Access. So lots of different ways that you can import data into Access. Now let me just show you the data that I want to import first of all. So this is the Esprit de Tour Trip Import Worksheet and you'll find this in the Course Files folder so you can open that up and take a look at it for yourself. And you can see here what we have are the, the field names essentially are our column headings in Excel. So we have code, trip name, activity level, country, description, duration days, price minimum, and price maximum. And each row is a different trip. So we have the Grand Canyon Family Rafting Adventure, Iconic Italy, Special Family Safari, so on and so forth. And if I scroll down, you'll see that we have not too many, a dozen or so trips within this file. And what I want to do is I want to import all of these into my tuple trip table in Access. So I'm going to close down my Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to go up to New Data Source and I'm going to select From File and Excel. The first thing we need to do, you can see here we've got this little wizard pop up again, which will guide us through this process. Access is asking me to specify the source of my file, essentially. I have a default file name in there, so you just want to browse to wherever you have your Excel spreadsheet saved. I then need to specify how and where I want to store the data in the current database. And I have three options. I can choose to import the data from that Excel spreadsheet into a new table in the current database. So if I was to choose this option, it will basically import it and create a brand new table. My second option is to append a copy of the records to a table that I specify which in this case might be tuple trip. So in this case, what it will do is it will import the data from Excel and it will append it to this current table. And that is actually what I want to do. 
If you remember in Tubal Trip, we currently have one trip listed, that's the Louisiana Explorer, and I just want to add all of these trips in my Excel spreadsheet to my current Tubal Trip table. The third option I have is to link to the data source by creating a linked table. As I said, we're not going to cover linking too much, but essentially if you were to select this option, it doesn't import the data into Access, but it will create a link to it in Excel. So there may be some occasions where you want to use that option. Now I'm happy with the second option. I'm going to click on OK. And you can see here the import wizard has analyzed my data in Excel. And because it's in Excel, it's made it pretty easy for Access to slice up that data according to the various different columns or field names. So I have code, trip name, activity level. And if I scroll across, just to make sure, there's the description, might be quite long. I'm going to go to the end. Duration days, price minimum, price maximum. So that all looks pretty good to me. So I'm fairly confident that if I was to click finish on this wizard, it's going to import all of that data into Tubal Trip. So really simple to import data from Excel. Now I'm going to click cancel here because I want to actually show you this using a different method. So using the same data, but it's going to be stored in a text file as opposed to an Excel file. So I'm going to click Cancel just here. So before we do this, let's just look at the text file. So here we have the Esprit de Tour trip import.txt file. And again, you'll find this file located in the Course Files folder. And this is exactly the same as the Excel file that we just saw, but it's a little bit harder to read. As you can see, we don't have the nice Excel grid structure dividing up these different fields. I can see fairly clearly that we have the code listed in this first column. We then have trip name, activity level, and everything starts to get a little bit bunched up, making it quite difficult to read. However, there is a pattern to this, and the pattern is that each of my fields is separated with a tab key, which is a little bit hard to see, but I can almost see in here, yes, there are tabs in between each of these fields. And it's really important to know what you have separating your fields. We call that the delimiter. Now in this case, the delimiter is a tab, but it might be that if you have your data in a text file, you've separated the fields using maybe a comma or a semicolon or something like that. But identifying what that delimiter is, is really important as you'll see over the next few steps. So I'm going to take this text file, I'm going to separate it up so it's nice and neat, and we're going to append it to our data that's currently in Tubal Trip. So let's close this file down. Let's go back to our external data tab, go over to new data source, from file, and we're going to select text file. And again, we just need to browse to where we have that text file stored. So there we go, Esprit de Tour trip import. I want to append to the bottom of Tubal Trip. Click on OK. Now, Access hasn't done a great job here so far of splitting up these different columns. And that's because we haven't actually really told it yet how to split up these columns. So you'll see at the top, we've got delimited, highlighted. So it says characters such as a comma or a tab separate each field. So that is the option that we want to choose. I'm going to click Next. And we now need to tell Access what delimiter we're using. And it's correctly picked tab for me. If you have your data divided up in a different way, so maybe your fields are separated by commas or spaces or some other kind of character, you can also specify those in here. But with tab selected, you can see now my data looks a lot neater. So I'm fairly happy with that. Another important thing to select here is to say that the first row contains field names. So the first row where it says code, trip name, activity level, those are essentially our headings. They're not actually part of our data. I'm going to click Next. I want to import this to Tubal Trip, which is correct. And I'm going to click Finish. 
Now, once Access has finished importing the data, it's going to pop up this little step here. So it says Save Import Steps. So if this is something which I was doing fairly frequently, I might want to just select Save Import Steps and it will whiz me very quickly through this process the next time I go to do it with exactly the same settings that we've used. I'm not going to check that. I'm just going to click on Close. I'm going to double click to open Tubble Trip. And there we go, that data has been imported in. Now, of course, you can't see all of the descriptions. You may have to widen this column out a little bit, but that is how you can import your data from an Excel spreadsheet or from a text file into a current table. So that's it for this module. In the next module, I'm going to set you another exercise. So please join me for that. If you're not a subscriber, Click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free Microsoft Access 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, click over there. And click over there to watch all the videos in this Access 2019 playlist.